friends, you are very welcome to this presentation. I'm so freezing your presenter. In this presentation, we'll be looking at the review of this event center that I've modeled, analyzed, and designed successfully using Prota Structure 2021. And in this review, we'll be looking at some important things and the purpose of this design successfully. So I want to urge you to stay through the review as we shall look at more important things concerning this structure that I've designed successfully. And also, if you have any thought, you can drop it in the comment sections and I will be happy to reply to your, uh, to your comment successfully. And if you want to know the integrity of Prota structure, you want to learn how to use it from A to Z, inbox me, you'll find my contact in the description of this video. You can inbox me and don't forget to give this video a like. If you have not subscribed, can let subscribe to this channel, let us make progress. And so this is an event center. If I should turn it this other way, Ryan, I, I, I orbit it this way, you will notice that. At the ground level, this is the ground level, all right? I have various bears, yeah, okay? So this bears, this one, this one is about five of it. One, two, three, four, and five, okay? It's for car park, all right? Why for the first floor right there is an event hall, okay? The first floor is an event hall. And so, so if you check very well, you'll notice that. I have a series of uh, reinforced concrete columns from the ground level, and most of these columns are terminated at the first floor level, as you can see, because we wouldn't want to obstruct view in this event or We want the event hall to be so open so that uh, people can be able to have enough space for their activities, all right? And that is why, if you check very well, I only have only two columns, all right, stand out at the first floor. While if you check at the ground floor, there are so many other columns right there, okay? And this design has been done successfully, of which if I should navigate to the column right there, I expand, you can see all of the columns as part design successfully. Also, the same thing applicable to all the beams as part design successfully, you can see, all right? So, if you now look at the trusses, all right, because this is the pattern of the design. If I select one of these trusses, one of these trusses, just like this, and I right click and click on the steel member design, right there, just like this, you will notice that all of these trusses, the statute of the trusses component, like the top cut, the bottom cut, the vertical, the diagonal, as part design successfully, it's just that we are having a little issue of slenderness ratio right here, where you have this red, uh, sign right there okay which can be taken care of during fabrication at site and that is not an issue all right so everything has passed and if you come over to where you have the utilization ratio right here you will notice that the eh, utilization ratio is far less than one you can see it's far less than one that simply tells you that you have trucks your trust sections your trust sections can be reduced all right you can reduce like presently i'm having a trust sections of 90 by 90 by 4 all right and then i'm having a utilization ratio of 0 0.003 less than one all right simply means i can't reduce this 90 reduce this trust section from 90 to 60 or i can even use 50 all right try 50 and it will also pass because the u ratio is far less than one all right so every component of the trust has passed design successfully all right so if you also come over to this provision as i said earlier this is an event center this particular provision you have here is for convenience all right this is for convenience or you can call it a toilet all right where people can you know go in and then have a comfort all right and so uh, this is the way the stairway is ordinary load has been applied to the structure successfully of which if i should select one of these column like this one and then i right click to check the design statute of the column you will notice that this column has been designed click on the interactive design you can see the reinforcement selections is 4y25 and that's 4y25 simply uh because this column is carrying more loads all right so you can see a wall load here wall load here all right and a wall load here a cantilever slab so everything goes down to this reinforced concrete column and that is why the uh the reinforcement selections is 4y25 but that doesn't mean that you must use 4y25 you can decide to use 8y uh, or 6y20 uh, it will also pass the design okay during interactive design that can be done successfully all right and also i have a cantilever here all right the purpose of the cantilever is to add more space to the event all all right so this cantilever you see in here is about uh 2.2 meter cantilever this way and about 1.2 uh it's or 1.5 meter can deliver this other way all right so this design has been done successfully just as i said earlier if you want to learn total structure and other civil engineering design softwares you can contact me using my contact in the description of this video successfully and we will schedule out a, a training 
all right, that will make you to be proficient in the use of these programs successfully. So, if you check the foundation design as well, you will notice that not all the part footings that are the same. If I should navigate to the story zero and then I will enable the plan view of story zero, you will notice that the, all of these are the largest footing size here because of the load that is coming on this particular columns. It gives us a very large footing size and you cannot compare the footing size you have at these provisions with the one you have at these provisions because these columns carries cantilevers, all right, cantilever beam. All right, which carries a slab and a wall load as well. That is why you have uh, a footing size. You can see this one is 1.6. All right, you check this one now, it is 1.9 footing size. All right, so this is the review of this uh, design successfully. For you navigate to the 3D, you have something of this kind, and this is what we call clouding. All right, this is a clouding. This clouding is used to apply loads to the roof of uh, uh, this structure, okay, or any structure you design in Protest Structure 2021. All right, and so I will, I'm hoping to provide a detailed lesson, detailed lesson of this project. Well, what I've done, once I've done with it, I will uh, get it across to us so that we actually learn from it. But if you want to learn personally, I will use product structure, just inbox me and we will check out how we can commence a training successfully. So this brings us to the end of this review. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more advanced lessons of this kind. Thank you very much for staying through this review. And don't forget to leave your thoughts or comment in the comment sections. Bye for now.